You are listening to the Indie Hour. I'm Dave Bookman. And uh, when you've seen the name Bartok Guitar Splat around town, probably wondered, hmm, what was that? What it actually is, is just a, a, one of the monikers for one of the many creative musical artistic projects by my guest right now, Rodney Brandt. Hi, Rodney. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. Thanks yeah. for coming down this evening. And uh, we got you in here this evening because tomorrow night, along with Bronto Kushrock, Stapler, and uh, by Divine Right, you're going to be joining us for new music nights down at the Horseshoe. Pleasure to have you tonight yeah. and tomorrow. Well, it's, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, for sure. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, uh, let's just, uh, you know, before we're going to hear some music from you and stuff, you do a lot of neat stuff with art and music. Just give us a, give us a quick CV of what you've been up to. Okay, recently I've been doing um, costumes for a play called Mouth that will be uh, previewed or will be running at the Theatre Centre from May 4th until May 22nd on a double bill with a Cafe Naked. And uh, so I've been spending a lot of time uh, designing costumes and, and that. For, for that production as well as um, doing other visual art and still trying to strive forward with the music thing that I do. How do you, do you find that uh, your approach to art and music are the same, just like everything in your life, or do, they, do, do you take a different approach? Oh, actually, yeah, they're, I, I find them, they're quite the same because I'm very much into the improv, improvisational right. um, aspects of art and music, working within the guideline of, of some kind of structure like in, in music it's like uh, there's a chord progression that you can riff off of and within the art the visual thing it's like there's a well horizontal vertical diagonal lines and curves <laughs> <laughs> so you, a curve. <laughs> so you've got your canvas laid out here your musical canvas right here yeah. all your effects and pedals and uh, you're all plugged in and Chris is all ready to go here so we're going to hear some music right now. What are we going to hear? Uh, I'm going to play a, a song that was written by Allie Riley. And it's called Alligator Death Wine. And it, it'll get into, uh, well, we'll see where it gets into. You know, like the song's there and then, then we'll see what happens with the improv. All right, let's give it a listen. Tastes like the drinking. Make your feet hick up. Yeah, you'll dance like Reesless Monkey Yeah, you'll drive like damned on holiday Alligator death wine Drink too much, you go blind But if you're looking for a real cool time Stay away from that wine It puts a swing in your hips I puts a slur in your speech I puts a glaze in your eye Takes away all the cards in your deck Alligator death wine Drink too much, you go blind but if you're looking for a real cool time Stay away from that wine Gives you lizard legs, you'll frail, you'll froth. And up in jail, you drink this wicked broth. Alligator death wine. You know where they'll find you, yeah, you know where they'll find you. Belly up in the bayou. They'll find you belly up in the bayou Another victim of that wine
dandelion green Sing the venom of a snake Delta mud for texture And you got Alligator death wine Yeah, you drink too much You go blind But if you're looking for a real cool time Better stay away from that wine yeah. Better stay away from that wine Alligator death wine The guitar stylings of Rodney Brand, a.k.a. for tomorrow night, Bartok yeah. Guitar Splat. That's it. And uh, so when you're doing that tomorrow night, we're going to see another horseshoe. Any variations on, on this sort of theme? What else do you get into? Uh, well, let's see. What am I going to be doing? Uh, I'm going to be playing some acoustic guitar, which is uh, getting into the acoustic electro aspect of going from an acoustic source through the electro pedals and manipulating it that way. Um, I'm going to do some mandolin music, too. Um, and you've played my mandolin with Scott B. and yeah, stuff. That's, yeah. a, that's where we first sort of our past crossed and stuff. Yeah. Do you like you like the mandolin? Fun instrument? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's It depends, though, you know, like, because um, I cover so many different um, aspects of, uh, well, we're on the spectrum of where I go, right? It's like play a hardcore gig, and I'm playing uh, to suit the audience. Right. Or, you know, go and play a much more... Um, um, Sophist not sophisticated, uh, well, different kinds of crowds. You sure. Know, like, so the horseshoe crowd, not that there's going to be a particular crowd there, but uh, it's all going to be happy uh, leaf fans after yeah, game five. Yeah. So. so I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing more of a a, a program of some songs that I've written. Like uh, I'll play this one, and uh, there's a couple of others, and then I'll get into some more experimental stuff. Do your art uh, and music ever mix? Have you ever uh, like mixed the two as far as a showing where you've had your work or or something oh, yeah. and you played and stuff? Yeah, that must I, be neat. I did a, a show at the Cameron last year around this time that I had a really good opening party with music and uh, there was one at the Drake at the Outer Space I did that was the same thing and there was one in Calgary I did that uh, was uh, a really good show with a really good uh, music party and uh, where all you, kind of ties together are you from Toronto or I'm originally from Calgary yeah, I've been out here since 87 so it's a hell of a new year gonna stay? Yeah, oh yeah 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 Toronto's a great place Lots of stuff happening here and cool people to meet all the time, I swear. Well, playing with you tomorrow night down at the Horseshoe is part of our new music nights and other bands with a, with a lot of deep roots in Toronto. One band stapler features guitarist Vince Carlucci. And...